The Tridentine Mass, it's a centuries-old ceremony that's been revived by Benedict XVI. This one is celebrating five years since he became Pope. But just a few days ago, the service had to be changed because the cardinal originally due to give the Mass has been caught up in the church's abuse scandal. An archbishop from the U.S. Midwest had to be brought in to take over. I don't know too much about it because I was in Rome on another matter and they called me like two days ago and asked me if I could come. So I had to rearrange my schedule just to be here so I haven't been able to look into it. But I, I'm honored to be here. Originally, the service was to have been led by Cardinal Dario Castrillon of Colombia. He's a senior Catholic figure who was once on the shortlist for Pope. But this letter, where the cardinal congratulates a French bishop for not turning in a priest who raped and abused a dozen boys, made the organizers change their plans. So I was on the email from Policy Institute, uh, so I received updates when, when they uh, made the change. Um, but that hasn't really affected um, the, the glory and the beauty of this mass, just because um, that is a separate issue. This is the largest church in the Western Hemisphere, um, obviously very solemn, as you can see. And around 2,000 people, we're told, are already here. Many of the people that I spoke to did not even know that Cardinal Castrillon did not come because he was involved in the sex abuse scandal. It is magnificent. At, at one point, I felt that I had been trans, uh, transported back to the Middle Ages. It was wonderful. But as these worshippers know, the image of their church has been tainted. I'm not God. I don't know how he's going to judge these priests. They may be in heaven before I am because they're sorrow. If they're sorry for their sins or whatever. When David Lawrence was a teenager, he was raped by a priest in Kentucky. He was among the victims who complained to the organizers when he heard Cardinal Castrillon was invited. There should be a tone that says, you're not welcome. You don't represent us as a church. Um, we, we don't believe that it's proper to congratulate bishops for hiding pedophile priests. Well, here in this diocese, we have uh, many programs. For example, we priests do yearly training. There's virtues training. We're doing the fingerprinting, all the background checks. And so we're, we're trying to learn not only to prevent, but also to recognize whenever abuse takes place. Almost half of all Catholics live in the Americas, which is the continent where the majority of reported abuse cases have taken place. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Washington.